deep. It's a perfect day to get out on the water. On the water, by the water, wonderful. Fox in the water. In the water. Oh. All right, oh. maybe. We'll maybe. have to Let's see. see. Let's uh, see. Hey there, Veronica. So are we in the water? Are we on the land? Where are we? We're, We're in, in the water. water. Yeah. We're in the water. <laughs> Friends, we did it. We did it. Yes, we couldn't stay on the shore forever, so we grabbed Miss Molina. We got all of our friends here at Hefner's in Milford, and we said we're going for it. Molina, good morning. Good morning. You are the perfect person to talk about all of the basics <laughs> for folks who maybe be uh, who maybe are beginners. So let's start with probably one of the most important safety aspects: well fitting life jacket. What do folks need to know? Of course. Well, we've done the greatest thing, which is have your life jacket on and already fitted before you get in the water. So yeah, make sure you have a well fitted life jacket that's snug, so that if you, God forbid, go in the water, it doesn't pop off you. And uh, make sure you keep it on the whole time. So don't sit on it. Keep it actually fastened. Awesome. I know. And so what's really fun about this river? It's very calm, yeah. uh, but it definitely kind of turns you all around and everything. So it's been really fun this morning. So well-fitting life jacket is a must. What do we do from there? Yeah, so once you're in, the key for getting in the boat safely is to stay low and slow. When you're getting in the kayak or the canoe, you want to step in the middle of the kayak uh, to make sure you don't tip to either side. Uh, and then also just make sure you have everything with you that you might need. So if you're going out for a while, make sure you have ample water and food uh, and, and have your trip kind of planned out in your head. Planning is always great. Yeah. Are we kind of breaking the rules being so close together like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think we're fine. We might be breaking, uh, you know, old COVID social distancing uh, rules. That's but, fair. That's fair. But, but in terms of kayaking <laughs> rules, we're not breaking kayaking rules no, by being I so mean, close together. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> a little easier to maneuver when you're a little farther apart, but I think we're fine. We're in calm waters here. Calm waters. That is great. <laughs> I love how our friends, too, were just experts. They just took off. So, yeah. you know, hopefully uh, we they'll come find us again, no doubt. Uh, so, well, life jacket, knowing how to get in, knowing mm -hmm. how to push off, paddling basics. Yeah. Because having the perfect paddle, that's important. It is. It is. So, Hebner's has supplied us with the perfect kayak and canoe. Uh, the, main, the main thing, kayaking is really easy because you don't have to switch your hand movements. You can just go alternate. So, what you're going to do is just going to dip the kayak paddle in the water, make sure all of the thick part is in the water, and just gently pull backwards. Okay. And you're going to alternate on each side staying like that is if it you, hard to change directions uh no it's it's pretty simple so for instance if you want to go towards the right you want to paddle on the left and okay. keep paddling on the left multiple times or if you want to paddle go towards the left you paddle on the right so this river is really great for beginners why is that it's a very calm river like you can see where we are right now there's hardly any current uh, there's not many rapids or anything uh, there's a little bit downriver. There's some rapids, which are good for the more uh, expert paddlers. But here it's really, really calm. There's nothing that's going to uh, try to tip you or jump out at you. Oh, that's good. I know photographer Brett, too, is very happy to hear you say that, that we're <laughs> yes. avoiding the rapids. Brett, we will continue to continue <laughs> avoiding the rapids for you this morning. I know you said planning is key. What other advice do you have for folks who are maybe thinking about planning the perfect kayaking or canoe trip? Yeah, so a lot of things about planning. But one, look at the weather, too. You want to make sure you're prepared. If it's sunny, you know, bring a hat and sunscreen. Or if it's it's going to be a little rainy, maybe bring a rain jacket. Make sure you know where you're going to take your boat out and approximately how long you're going to be on the river. Let someone know when you're coming out. Uh, and, yeah, other than that, just to have a fun time and, and stay aware. You know, this is an, an active river, so there could be a tree down. So you just want to make sure you're looking where you're going. All really yeah. good tips. More information on your screen as we speak. All right, all right. So Charlie and Liz have watched us doing uh, canoeing and kayak segments before every year I always think in my head hey what's it gonna take to get Charlie and now Liz back on the water so Melina can you help me out can you make it so that Charlie and Liz can get out here too what yeah. do you say to them yeah I mean look at the scenery behind us right like we are in the middle of so many wonderful plant species where we're floating over some aquatic grass which is so beautiful I always spot blue herons on the water when I'm out here uh, it's really wonderful. Yeah, and say no more. Me. Melina said it better than I could ever say it. Than I could ever say it. So Charlie, Liz, my friends, the river awaits. Bring it on.